first episode, which a bunch of us have seen already, too. There's a bit of a pickup going on. Can yeah. you like, clarify where it still seems like motivation behind that? Um, I think the fun thing about Delphine this season is that her motivations have to be hidden. She has a plan. She made a promise. Um, she's gonna do a lot of power plays that we're not necessarily gonna understand. But I think we, we can trust. Um, there's one moment when Kasim leaves and she's alone. And I think there's a lot when you're alone is when you're the most truthful as a human being. Right. So I think we can trust that that's a true feeling. I don't think she's happy with having to make um, that that sort of radical move, but I think she needs to make it. And what's going to be interesting is how is that going to unfold? Why does she need to make that move? What's happening? Who's holding the strings behind? What, what strings is she trying to pull making these radical moves? So it's going to be a very um, heartbreaking season in that sense. Sometimes when you want something, you have to give something up um, for, the, for the good of what you're going for. <laughs> well, every, every, every time we answer a question, we're like on eggshells. Yeah. We're like, I'm going to speak slowly as the hamster in my head is turning yeah. and thinking of what I can say. Yeah, how long is that list of what you can't say? It's very it's long. Packed. Yeah. It's such a as packed, I, exciting story. As, as I said before, like I feel like there's going to be like a, a guy wearing a lab coat if I say one thing. Yeah, it's that not her. Is, like, going yeah, yeah. Doctor Lee. It's not Dr. Lee. Yeah. yeah. Just a little quick needle. <laughs> You're knocked out for the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got Donnie here, so we can exactly. Sure You're safe. Too. Yeah. You're safe. I know what I'm doing. Yes, you can does. handle leaky, right? Yeah. With that said, what can you tell us? <laughs> oh. The ending, which is. <laughs> we're not. We're, 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 shut, we're shut these off. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I wish. I wish we could tell you. I can tell you that this season is the most action-packed one yet, for sure. I, that's the word that people ask me, like, "Well, describe the season one word." I always say action because each se each season has a different feeling to it what's going on how much information we know uh, and this season we are so chock full of characters uh, we've got project Lita project caster a war really is brewing and we have so many characters so many auxiliary characters so many clones that we explore everybody all our stories get deeper and more mm -hmm. flushed out we discover more we get more answers throughout the whole season and it's so exciting. Every episode is exciting. There's no lagging or anything like that. There's no time for that. There's just so much story and yeah. so many of us that, and we all get our due time. And it's. Um, I think my word would be danger. Danger. Violent. Yeah. I think this season's very violent, but not excessively. It's all violence that's necessary to the story. <laughs> necessary to the, uh, yes. roughness. <laughs> necessary roughness <laughs> and to the characters. But it's a, it's a violent season. Yeah. It's shocking a lot. Some of the stuff that happens. Is, it's truly, truly shocking. It's a lot more emotional and raw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. No, um, in the fact that you actually were digging deeper into the characters, we're going to see a lot of growth this season. Mm -hmm. For each of you, did any of you have just like a holy shit moment where, you yeah. know, you just didn't see it coming? For sure. Almost every episode. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's the first time we get to see is when a, a script comes through in our email. And, and it, usually when it does, I know I have to drop everything and just start reading it right away to see what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Almost every episode, there's a... Holy shit moment. Yeah, okay, for sure. It's it's awesome. It's so yeah. Ugh. My yeah. favorite season yeah. yet. Yeah. Not saying a lot. This I is really the one that like I'm most excited too. about. Yeah, me too. In a in a sense. It's just so exciting. And and like for us, we read the script. I then immediately, uh, I read it twice. I, when we get in the email and then when we sit around as a cast and read as, before we shoot each episode, we, we do a cast read through. And then I forget about everything else. I just focus on, on the scenes that I'm in because I don't want to. No, I don't want to remember what happens because I want to experience it again. Because we're all fans out. too. Yeah, we're yeah. all fans of the show as well. Yeah. I don't like watching the episodes before they actually hit the air. So, yeah, you know, it's, me neither. It's fun to to watch it as yeah. as, as it comes out. So one thing I've been trying to picture with Allison and her very type A nature, and Donnie not being the most aggressive of men. What was their courtship when they first met? And <laughs> well, we're going to see that in the comic book. Actually, we're okay. going to be exploring that in uh, issue number three oh, wow. of the Orphan Black comic book. You're going to see. Donnie and Allison, uh, how they meet in some scenes from college. From what I've been told, I haven't actually read it yet. I can't wait to. But um, so we're, we'll explore that in that mode. Um, what you'll see now is probably closer to what their relationship was like right when they got married and everything was on point. Before they were, they thought they were kind of fighting. In, in season one, it was very much you know a bickering couple that was not connecting at all. And in season two, they find that at the end. 
Um, so for the first time, we kind of see them in like a second honeymoon mode, and they're working as a team. And Team Hendrix is a real force to be reckoned with in the in the suburbs. So it's it's fun to explore it that. Is. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> So tone wise, is it is it darker than previous seasons? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. How does it take it darker? Is it just Because the stakes are higher and it's yeah. about family. Yeah. Okay. On every level the show's about family. And um, the Castor Boys are so dangerous. Yeah. Too. You know, the military side of things is, is pretty yeah. wild and that's where I am, but uh, yeah, that's that's where the darkness really, really yeah. comes in. Everybody's yeah. hearts are exposed. Yeah, for sure. I think like just like in real life, sometimes truth can be dangerous, and the closer you are to it, the the the, the, cl- the closer you you are to danger. So I feel like if the show was a spiral, if it started going like that, now we're getting closer and closer to the center. So it's more and more fast paced and more and more dangerous for all the characters. Everyone's in danger, yeah. and I think when you're in danger you rise up to the challenge and you react in ways that you haven't before and so that's why there's a, maybe a dark side that will be revealed of, of you that was there, that was always there but you haven't shown because the situation mm-hmm. was different um, so that's, that's how it starts I'm so right. excited for all of you to see this yeah. <laughs> seriously, it's yeah. so like good it. this is getting me pumped Honestly, up. I'm getting, I'm like, my heart's starting to yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I want to watch this Jeez. Well, because you guys have relationships with each clone like, well, but not Beth but uh, with each clone <laughs> Well, we see, like, and I know the breakup too, and but you guys are getting stronger, but are we going to see any dy- dynamics with your both, but your clones? Will it change? Because I know it, ch- it was big drop at the end of the season. Will we see it eventually grow again? I hope so. I know that's, I can't really say. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. I spoil. definitely think, no, we're, I can't. because we're all part of Clone Club now, yeah. all three of our characters. We, I don't we have think more, I'm part of Clone Club. But I mean, we have more knowledge yeah, about yeah, the other yeah, clones, sure, that there's sure. the potential yeah. Yeah. for some cross-pollinization going on, and, and there's, you know, there's always twists and turns going on in the show. It's relentless, so, you know, we don't disappoint in that avenue, I think. I do have some dialogue with Sarah, I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Positive or negative? I can't say. (laughs) As fans of the series, I mean, do you guys have favorite clones that you're like, oh man, I I can't wait to see a scene with this one? Totally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I actually haven't seen Ari Millen's stuff yet with the with the caster clones, awesome, so I'm in, I can't wait to, He's really to see good. it on screen for the first time. I've been on set and everything, but but uh, in terms of last season, uh, Rachel was my favorite. She was so so fascinating. Yeah, I love her and and Cosima. I, I think they're great. fantastic together. But I, I, for some reason, I love the comedy aspect as well of Donnie and Allison. So whenever Donnie and Allison are on the screen, I just, I love it. I'm a Kasima fan. I've always been <laughs> all the way. Team, team Kasima. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be. I gotta be. Yeah, of yeah. course. She's my buddy. Can you speak a little bit about Paul's change, like from kind of unsuspecting monitor boyfriend to now military man and man yeah. of mystery? Yeah, he's, he's, he's in his element. So he's definitely, you know, more comfortable being himself, and he kicks some serious butt this year. I'll say that much. But uh, so is Afghanistan is all gone now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. He's de- it definitely he gets to show his true colors. He's not playing the double agent anymore. So he's you know it's it's really fun for me to explore the character this year and just to really to really dive headfirst into what he's doing and working with the Caster Boys and being the major that he is. <laughs> oh God, major dear. Major dear. He's pulling rank. I, 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 no, I always pull rank. I have to. <laughs> Everybody has to salute you when they come on set now. Of course, yes. I'm very Daniel makes me Day Lewis that way. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me call him Sir or sir. Major, Major Dearden. Major all the time. Dearden, yes, all at craft service. Oh, at craft service. Is that where you find me? Yes. I'm at craft service all the time. <laughs> uh, guys, leave me alone. I'm just getting into character. Drop and give me 10, Donnie. <laughs> turn up. Oh, God. Yeah. Just waving a candy bar in front of my face. <laughs> Serious, Stop sir. It. Stop it. He's so mean. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. <laughs> Is there a clone that you guys would like to work with on on, on camera? Although obviously, same person, but on camera that you would like to interact. with? I don't with? even want to answer that question. I think me and Helena I don't could even have know like a hair start. off. <laughs> I want all of them. That'd I worked fun. with Helena this year, so that was like a dream come true for me. So, yeah, yeah. I'll just. Awesome. I'll that just, sounds awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I share some time with Helena. Did you get to dance with all of them? Uh, I wish because I kind of have moves. We were talking about doing a dance off, right? He no, moves. no. I don't. Yeah, I don't. He, he says he has moves. I'm, I'm like Zoolander. I can't turn left. <laughs> but his blue steel is a. It's a yeah. Blue magnet. I've been working on it for years. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's a lot of. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Thank you, man. All right, guys. Thanks, guys.